MMA debut. These fighters are both 165 pounds, and this is our first MMA bout of the evening. Basically, Nick, just to give our, our folks at home maybe watching MMA type of stuff or, you know, maybe not to experience. A couple of fouls in terms of, you know, the basic things you can't do, head butts, uh, gouging eyes, uh, things of that nature. Oh, definitely, yeah. You can't uh, do the, the basic stuff that makes sense. I mean, I don't think it's uh, very safe to allowing some of that stuff. Even head butts um, have been taken out, removed from MMA for years now. So you cannot go to the growing with strikes. You cannot... I gouge as, Brent, as uh, Mr. Kanish just mentioned, and uh, it depends on the rules and the organization. Um, elbows are not permitted here tonight on the ground. Um, kicks to the head are not permitted here on the ground tonight. But pretty much all the other striking goes, submissions, very, very tough, very, very tough to compete in MMA. These guys are doing a pretty good job. Again, we see some, uh, most of this fight has been on the ground with Villalobos controlling the top position. And winning a fight, of course, you can win a fight by knockout, which is pretty much self-explanatory. Submission is, you know, when your opponent taps out, or there's, you know, you can also have a verbal agreement in terms of a tap out. Um, technical knockout would be a doctor stoppage, a corner stoppage. If the fight does go to the cards, we'll have a decision. Um, disqualification for anything unusual, of course, but uh, hopefully that is, isn't the case. You know, pretty much self-explanatory stuff in terms of how the fights are determined and what they do in the ring, maybe not self-explanatory. Um, we start here this third and final round, both fighters standing up in the striking pose. We'll see if they go to the ground, which I think we will momentarily, as uh, Alejandro Villalobos seems to be more comfortable taking the fight to the ground. Vasquez is gonna uh, need to keep this thing on the feet or land on top if this fight does go to the ground. Again, they get taken to the middle of the ring, a little more room to work here. Immediately, Villalobos trying to go for that leg reap takedown. Yeah, Villalobos, we've seen, he's spent much of the fight so far on top. He's had the advantage so far. Referee straightens him out one more time. Villalobos managed to maneuver himself back on top, and again, figure he might be looking for a side mount so I can you know, get in a dominant position but he hasn't been able to do that so far in this fight we'll see if he can turn things around in his third and final round I'm telling you, Vasquez has been on his back, but has uh, been able to control the damage. I mean, he hasn't taken a lot of damaging blows at all. Yeah, he seems pretty comfortable on the ground there. I mean, maybe in part to due to Villa Lobos not uh, not being a little more aggressive, not getting it, you know, in a more dominant position. But uh, neither striking nor in terms of uh, uh, putting on some sort of submission hold, uh, Villa Lobos really hasn't ha been able to do a whole much, despite being in what would be perceived as a dominant position. Again, on your screen right now, that is Alan Villalobos on top. Villalobos with the white gloves against Evans Vasquez on the bottom at this point with the yellow gloves. Villalobos trying to open up with some ground to pound. And referee was trying to turn things over, get a, you know, get a touch of uh, Villalobos' leg there, turn that over. He wasn't able to. Lobos landing some heavy left hands over the ribs of uh, Vasquez, and those definitely do take some steam out of your opponent. Land a few clean shots there. Some body work, there you go. Some solid shots to the body. Dangerously close to the edge of the, the, the ring here. Enough will get broken up and uh, brought back to the middle of the ring or not. 
and they do. Back to the middle of the ring. Evan Vasquez resumes the position on his back. And Ayala middle almost on top. This is the third of three five-minute rounds. Our first MMA bout of the evening here in San Jose, Costa Rica. Again, he's trying, the basket's trying to turn it. Yeah, he's been trying to turn it for about three rounds, almost three, four yeah, rounds so far this evening. Much success, but right there, I mean, legs are open, the guard is not in tight, and Bill Loeb is not getting himself out of the guard. It's got to be a little bit frustrating for Bill Loeb, he, you know, seems to be in a dominant position, but he's not in a position where he can actually do a whole lot of damage at this point. Yes, he's on top. Yes, he can strike, but he's not being able to strike cleanly. He's not getting a whole lot of leverage on his punches. And Vasquez is just looking for the moment where he can turn this, you know, to get side mount, get control, perhaps go into submission. But neither fighter has done that so far at this point. And I'm also really surprised Vasquez isn't trying to rotate those hips up a little bit higher, get those legs up higher, because it seems like there's a chance. There's positioning for... Uh, some more submission attempts from the bottom. I guess this is what you would call Nick in terms of, uh, uh, in terms of not necessarily ground and pound, but clinch and pound. Yeah, right. I mean, definitely ring control. Bill Lobos is trying to do the most damage here. He's been in the superior position most of the time. Vasquez trying to grab a leg. He needs to pull something off here in the closing minutes. Or closing seconds, I should say. I'm sorry. Yeah, Vasquez just, I think, just spent too much of that fight on his back. Um, you know, a decent MMA debut for both opponents. I think both, you, you know, quite fairly, you would say, have, have a little bit to learn. Um, Alejandro Villalobos, despite being on top, looked like he could have done more in terms of getting into a side. In the blue corner! Alejandro! Villalobo! 